Hey, what's up? What's up? Thanks for thanks for tuning back in. Sorry about the volume issue. Um, new software just working on this. Trying to get some more Facebook lives to y'all because it's information, man. Sometimes I gotta be able to go to the computer and um, find a way to go ahead and hey, make sure that was thanks. live. So that's good. So uh, made sure that my volume was working that time. All right, listen. I want y'all to name something. If you can count all the zeros, that is twenty trillion dollars. All right. Think about it. Uh, there's a lot of expensive houses, you know, there's a few islands, things like that, right? And uh, Jafori was picking on me for my clean shaven face. There's a story behind that. I had to shave. But anyway, uh, it's all good. It's all good. Um, Ali's mad. But uh, it's, it's going to grow back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But look, I don't want to hold y'all attention too much longer. I want to get into something. What is something that's $20 trillion and how can I actually use this information and put more money back in my pocket? That's what I'm about to reveal to y'all. And, um, and don't forget to go to paychecks2assets.com to get more information on everything I'm about to tell y'all. Now, let's get into the information. So just really quickly, let me pull something up. All right. USDebtClock.org. All right, usdebtclock.org. Um, you can just go to it right now if you wanted, um, but you'll miss out on this stream. So I advise you wait for a second. I'm not gonna hold you too much longer. If you hear my dog in the background, that's Java Bean Goins. Okay, my wife then gave me a middle name. All right, this is Bean, Java Bean, <laughs> Java Bean. All right, that dog is the most energetic dog I've ever met in my life. But anyway, as you can see right here on this screen, it's probably up here, I guess, if I'm pointing right. But it is $20 trillion is the national debt, all right? It just topped $20 trillion, first time in history, and it's still going up. Um, I don't know if that excites y'all, if that worries y'all, what it's doing. But I also want y'all to look at this U.S. federal spending. I mean, it's about to hit $4 trillion. That's crazy, 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 crazy. But anyway, the reason why I really brought you to these, this website is usdebtclock.org. I want y'all to drop it in the comments. Say, show me the money. And I'm going I'm to I'm show y'all something that's going to blow your mind and be able to put money back in your pocket. But you got to drop it in the comments. Show me the money. Let me turn my volume down over here make sure I don't get the feedback going. Since I know the volume works this time. Show me the money and I'm going to show it to you for real. Show me the money. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to get back real quick and uh, help the kids play some football and things like that. So I'm just going to get right into it. Whether y'all want to see the money or not, this is where it's at. Let me slide right on over here. Appreciate y'all for checking in, by the way. Look at this. Oh, hey, Andy, what's up? Hey, Kelly, what's up? Valerie, thanks for checking in. What's up? All right, but listen, I'm, gonna show, I'm about to show you all the money. Look at this right here. Payroll tax revenue, okay? $1.1 trillion, all right? So let me make sure my decimal is right. This right here is a 1,000. There's a million. There's a billion. This is $1.1 trillion in payroll tax revenue. Now, what does that mean, really? Let's look right here. It says... U.S. payroll tax revenue, taxes which employers are required to withhold from employees pay. That means, let me, hold on a second, let me, hold on a second, let me bring this back. Let me bring this back around because this is really, really important that you get this part. If you don't get this, you're really just wasting your time by being on Facebook right now. If you don't get this next part. That means that the government is withholding 1.1 trillion dollars this year so far of our money making money off of that money making interest off of it let's say they even made one percent well hey that's still a mill okay off of our money and then they're gonna give us back our money and just say here's your tax what refund re means again fun means money we're happy that we get a tax refund but it's already our money anyway they just held it for all this time and made money off of it, you know, and it's kind of like this. It's kind of like we're sitting here. We're dying of thirst. You ever been so thirsty? I mean, I know these summer heats, 
you summer uh you're nice is about to end but you ever been just so thirsty you got to the water fountain or you finally got some water and you just chug the whole thing down because you was thirsty well that's what we are right now as americans we thirsty and guess what we have this glass chalice and we give it to the government we let the government fill it up with your with your favorite apple juice as a matter of fact who don't love apple juice all right Government just fills it up with whatever they want to drink, and then they just drink it all year while we're sitting here dying of thirst, looking at them sitting here just drinking all this water, and we're dying of thirst. And then at the end of the year, they say, oh, here's your chalice back, empty. They fill it up. They get the, all the rewards, and then they give us back the vessel that was used to get all the rewards. If that makes sense to y'all, y'all need to just... If y'all agree with that, basically, if y'all think that's a good idea, y'all like paying that, y'all like doing that, you just need to unfriend me right now. I don't really need you in my circle because <laughs> soon enough, y'all going to be asking me for money and I need people around me that I need to go to and be like, hey, man, we about to invest in this strip club or strip mall, rather not strip club. I don't know where I got that from, but this strip mall. Stop laughing at me. I see you. Uh, or um, or this mall project or this uh, this new apartment building complex. And um, and we're going to need at least a hundred thousand. I mean, I'm only calling six of my friends right now. We need a hundred thousand to all go in on this apartment complex that we build it. You know, I don't need somebody that's sitting up here. Well, it costs thirty five dollars. Um, You know, I don't have the money right now. I don't want to. You know, it's, it's, it's a certain kind of mindset that you have to have. And no, I'm not wealthy right now, but I guarantee you the people that stick with me and the people that I'm being mentored by are carrying me to a place where I'm going to be able to pull a lot of people with me. All right. And um, and I, can't, I really just want to get that message to y'all that you need to be able to shift your income. Go to paychecks to assets dot com and learn how you can go to literally from paychecks to assets. Now. I'm at the point where I, every time I get paid, I'm putting money in the stock in the stock market. I'm buying stocks. Um, I'm investing more money, and and it's really really cool. And if you want to learn more about stocks and getting that, you can get a free stock at uh, JerryGoins.com/slash/free-stock. Okay, so that's another thing that I'm helping people do because assets are something that you can go in and cash out later on. All right, so yeah, I'm, I'm putting my money over here, putting my money over here. It's growing faster than the interest rate at the bank which is like 1%, you know, now I'm getting um, anywhere from, I've seen a 40 to 50% increase sometimes in my stocks. Whereas if I just had it in the bank, then it's just getting 1%. You know, you have to be able to beat inflation. Inflation is one to 2% every year. So if your bank is giving you 1%, inflation is 2%, you got rats eating your money and you don't even know about it. And you wonder why we can't get, a, we can't get anywhere in life. You wonder why your savings ain't really doing nothing. It's because a gallon of milk, Costs more than a gallon of gas, <laughs> you know, and it used to be the opposite, but it's because of inflation, things keep rising. The dollar keeps losing value, but our pay is flatlining. All right. The dollar keeps losing value over time. That's inflation, but our pay is flatlining or going down right with it. So if you don't have something that's making more money than at least inflation, you're losing out. You're losing money. You know, this wasn't meant to be something that's, a, that's ridiculously long. Let me see if anybody got any comments. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Christy. Yeah, it's funny, ain't it? It is. It's really crazy. But what if you had a system? What if you had, you know, a platform where you can not only um, learn how to get your money back, um, increase your paycheck by two hundred to eight hundred dollars a month? I've seen it done. I'm doing it right now, and I've been doing it for a long time. So it's not like I'm about to get a big surprise next year. <laughs> you know, some people are like, well, just let's let's wait until let's wait and see what's going to happen to Jerry next year. When the, when, the, when the IRS come knocking at the, you know, listen, they, I've already been through this. What I have is a whole printout of all the, the tax deductions that I can legally file as a home based business owner. And it reduces my income and I get to go ahead and claim that up front and get my tax return throughout the year. Why am I going to wait so the government can give me back this empty, empty chalice when I can use that chalice? And pay more on things and get out of debt and accelerate my income and buy things like flyers for my business or gas so I can get to where I need to go. Right. All right. This wasn't meant to be so long, but I did want to give you all that information. Um, name something that's 20 trillion dollars. This is the U.S. debt. Name something that's one point one billion dollars is how much money the government has withheld from us so far this year. 
Uh, if you're interested in getting your money back, go to paychecks2assets.com. Don't wait, because money compounds, all right? Compound interest is the ninth wonder, eighth wonder of the world. Einstein says so. And it's basically just meaning that whoever is uh, understands this, whoever understands compound interest, uses it. Who doesn't understand it, pays it. Don't be that person that just pays compound interest because you failed to shift your income three, four months ago. Go ahead, get out of debt today. All right. But anyway, let me be all philosophical on you. But I'm um, glad you came back with me. Sorry for the volume issues. Like this video. All right. If you appreciate it, if you got some value out of it, if you thought it was funny, you know, if you think clean shave is a good look for Jerry, you know, like it, share it, do what you got to do, but show me some love. And I'm going to keep bringing y'all more content. All right. Peace and love.